Good morning, good morning. It's but a beautiful morning, morning. <laughs> good morning. It is a beautiful morning, huh, buddy? Yeah, buddy. <gasps> what are you doing? He's very smiley. Yeah, so today's a home vlog. <laughs> um, we gotta do some stuff around the house. We're also going to start the day out though by going to Starbucks. So we needed to um, get coffee. We ran out of coffee and we didn't get it because we were on vacation. <laughs> we were out at the beach club. So we're gonna make a Starbucks run, which we, we never do. So it's kind of like a treat. Yeah. Like that's just, we're not like Starbucks run people, but today we are. Yeah. So um, one of our friends suggested a drink. I'm gonna try it. Oh, are you? You're yeah. gonna try that? I'm gonna try it, yeah. Okay. He said, I love this drink. I'm obsessed with it. You should grab one. So we're doing it. Yeah. Let's give it a try, buddy. Yeah. I don't think they have any, any Frappuccinos for you though. Sorry. Mm. Sorry, buddy. A baby Frappuccino. <laughs> Million dollar idea. I feel like that's just like milk. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we got our Starbucks. They didn't have the thing I wanted. So this is the vanilla cream cold brew. No, the vanilla sweet cream cold brew. So I wanted the brown sugar oat, oat milk milk. shaken espresso espresso yeah and um our friend was like that's the best thing ever i'm so obsessed with it you have to try it and they ran out of the brown the brown sugar syrup which i i didn't think that the brown sugar would be a syrup i just thought it would be brown sugar yeah so i was kind of confused about that but um so i got this one instead it was my next choice and it's so good i love this so the next time that we go to starbucks i will try the oat milk brown sugar one in like 10 years. <laughs> I know, we never go to Starbucks. Well, I do, I go to Starbucks when we go to Disney sometimes, but I always just get tea, like black tea, and I'll, I'll do like a black tea lemonade. I never get coffee, so I'll try it the next time we go. Oh, also, Jackson's in the backseat. Did you say that? <gasps> Jackson is in the backseat, and he's doing so good. Yeah, he's just hanging out back there. And there he is. Say hi, buddy. Hi, little Jackson. <laughs> He's doing really well. Somebody's learning how to go up and down a slide. Oh, <laughs> let's see. He just woke up from his nap. All right, now sit down. Mm. No, 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 sit down. <laughs> okay. And then I gotta pick up his feet because he likes to stop himself. Okay, here we go. You ready? One, two, three, Whee! Whoa, right on that little bum. Hey, right, you wanna go back up? You wanna do it again, buddy? Come on. <laughs> I like how he just stopped for a second. He's like, you know, I'm not sure. Here we go. Let's see. All right. All right. That's good. Now sit down. Can we sit down? Let's sit, sit down. down. Sit down. Oh, there good job. Go. All right. Now slide, and don't stop yourself with your feet. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. All right, that was buddy, an exciting one. No, 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 not up this, up the green. Nice job. There you go, smart buddy. We were teaching him not to, cause he wanted to like walk up his slide and we were like, I don't know if that's such a good idea, bud. All right, so it has been a little bit of time. It's lunchtime now. And for lunch, I made us peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And this is something that every time that I mention peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in the video, um, people from, I believe it's people from the UK are like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That's so weird. I would never think to eat peanut butter and jelly together. And I always find those comments so like interesting because peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are like a staple thing for like kids lunches. Um, or just lunch in general. It's just like a, a very common sandwich that people eat and especially kids. But uh, I like peanut butter and jelly and I've been using the new jam that we got from the farmer's market in Winter Park from Ginger's Jams, Jellies and such. And um, this stuff is so delicious, this mango raspberry jam. I love this, holy cow, it's so good. And then I also use some creamy peanut butter. This is just from Publix. But generally, I really like crunchy peanut butter. It's just so hard to spread on the bread unless you're like toasting the bread or the peanut butter is like really soft. Um, so we, the creamy peanut butter is just way easier to spread on these sandwiches. But crunchy peanut butter, so delicious. That's really where it's at. Next page. This is the best snowy day ever. What would you do on a snowy day? What does snowman do? Can you count 10 knit hats and five white snow bunnies? Okay, let's see here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where's the tenth one, buddy? Oh, ten. This little bunny has it. And we have to count five bunnies. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. You want to finish the book? It's a gingerbread cookie parade. Let's make up a song about cookies. Oh, I love to eat some cookies and I love to eat a lot. I love to eat some cookies and Santa has too many cookies, so I have to eat some. I don't know why, but sometimes Jack's, oh, he just stopped. But sometimes he walks like a little robot. All right, so when he does his robot walk, he does this. He goes. <laughs> Show him how you do it, buddy. Are you doing it? You weren't doing it. <laughs> was that daddy being funny? You're one silly billy, you know? So now we're upstairs and Jackson is playing. <laughs> you hear him in the background. What buddy. are you doing, buddy? <laughs> so, so we got some exciting news. We, the, uh, amazing turn of events. Yeah. So we have been calling and calling and calling different places for about three weeks now trying to find any leftover doses of the vaccine. So these are doses that would normally be thrown in the trash at the end of the day because they, both the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccine have an expiration date mm -hmm. or an expiration time. I think they're only good for about six hours. So a lot of places that are offering it have extra doses or might have extra doses at the end of the day. So basically what it is, is we would call to be put on a waiting list for if somebody made a, an appointment and then they canceled it, or if somebody made an appointment and just didn't show up, um, or if they just had an extra dose. Right. So we were on a list of other people that were also waiting and they finally got to us. Yeah. And so we both got the vaccine. Yeah, so we both got the Moderna vaccine. We got our first shot and we are scheduled for our second shot. And it's very exciting. It's like, it doesn't feel real. Like it's, I, I'm just so happy that we can, I don't know, this is just, I feel like the step back to like normal life. Right. And hopefully, like, cause in, in Florida, especially, they are lowering the age to 18 and over. Yeah, so. In like two weeks? Yeah, this Monday, they're lowering it to 40 and over. And then the Monday following, they're lowering it to anybody over 18. So this basically means that everybody will be eligible really soon. Yeah. And anybody who wants to get the um, vaccine can get it. In and Florida. In Florida. And I think it's, um, cause I was reading some other people's like, social media posts and I think in other states they're doing the same thing or even sooner than we are. Yeah, there's a so, bunch of states that already have lowered the age. Which is just amazing that it's been rolled out in such a way that like the the time frame was just awesome. Yeah. Like it, it really took almost no time, very little time to get everybody to a point where they can be vaccinated. Yeah. So So that means for us Yeah. About two weeks into May, we're gonna start to be able to get back to normal. So that means that we can do like indoor rides, we can do indoor dining, we can do things that just felt a little bit riskier before we had the vaccine. Um, and I'll feel even better knowing that everybody else should be at the place where they will, will probably be vaccinated also. Yeah. So, and I'm so happy for like the cast members and like the theme park, like the team members and just for like the people working at grocery stores and people who have to be around so many like the masses you know like the public they're gonna be so much safer now too yeah. so like i don't know i'm just really happy i'm so happy i'm glad that we were both able to get it and um i don't know i'm just so happy <laughs> um it also makes me happy too because a lot of you guys were asking and when we did our new year's eve video one of our resolutions was that we were really hoping that Tim's parents would be able to get the vaccine and they did. Oh yeah, they got it. They've already yeah. gotten their second shot. So like, that's amazing. And I just am so glad. Yeah. So, so we're doing good. But did you want to talk about like, how did you feel afterwards? Cause I know not everybody feels the same after. So I had zero side effects. Mm -hmm. No. So the, well, I guess I shouldn't say zero. I had one. The, there, my arm was a little bit sore. Well, you also said that you were really cold last night. Oh yeah, I had like, I woke up shivering cold last night, but that's it. So we want, we're not sure if that was like a, like a mild fever, which is some, one of the things that can happen with the vaccine. Um, but we're not sure. It could yeah. have, Cause I wasn't freezing cold. Right. So who knows? Um, I did find out like a little, a little hack for the, the shoulder pain. Cause these, I don't know what it is about these like the Moderna and the Pfizer and also the Johnson and Johnson vaccine, but people have had very, very sore arms afterwards. Jackson keeps trying to grab for the camera. <laughs> um, but I found out that after you get the shot, 
if you kind of keep your arm moving and like massage it a little bit mm -hmm. and just like you know how when you i don't know if anybody else did this but before i swam i was a competitive swimmer in high school i would like shake my arms out and stuff like that so i was doing that last night and i think that helped me out a lot jackson is like a daredevil sorry he's are you okay buddy you're gonna fall <laughs> just standing on top of a chair <laughs> what are you doing buddy what are you doing are over you, there, buddy? Are you going to get down? Going to get down? Do it. Nice. <gasps> nice work. You did it. That's, that's you, buddy, on the camera. Nice job. So after I got the first shot, I felt some pain in my arm. And I actually slept because you know, we got him on our left side. And I actually sleep on that arm. Right. And so I slept on my arm. And I think that that was like a big like not a great idea right it really 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 hurt so i recommend if you can help it like don't sleep on the arm that you get your shot in because it really makes it super super sore but the pain did go away after 24 hours so it wasn't like a forever pain it's gone now but it definitely hurt a lot yeah. so and it was just where the injection site was not like my whole arm or anything but honestly that that little bit of soreness totally worth it but i do know that everybody was saying that their second dose was more painful so I'm kind of like nervous to see how much more painful the second dose will be. Oh. But again, I, I think it's totally going to be worth it. So I also think it's an age thing because my mom said that neither her nor my dad had any pain at all. They said, well, they didn't say no pain. They said it was just a little tiny bit sore after the second dose. Oh, okay. So, but they also got Pfizer, whereas we got Moderna. Yeah. So ours is going to be a little bit more, like we get more of the vaccine. Yeah. So it's just, I think that's probably has a lot to do with it. Yeah. Um, but I would highly recommend if you haven't gotten the vaccine and you're, you don't want to wait until the age limit decreases, um, try calling the pharmacies around you like close to closing time and just ask, you know, like, did you guys, is there a waiting list that I can be put on? Or do you have any, um, appointment cancellation spots or any doses that will be thrown away at the end of the day? And it doesn't hurt to ask. Right, because those doses are going to go in the trash. You're not taking them away from anybody. Mm -mm. They're just going to be thrown out. So yeah. if you can get one, it's better than going in the trash. Oh, yeah, definitely. But um, I don't know. I hope that it works out for you if you haven't been able to get it. And I hope that um, everybody can get it soon. Yeah. So So we can get back to normal. Yeah. There. Oh, were you doing it? Did I catch you? <laughs> Mid-robot run? Jackson. Beep, beep. There it is. Beep, beep. <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. You are one silly little buddy. We gotcha. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, I got that little buddy. I got him. You want to show uh, mommy how good you are at going down the slide now? How good are you? Let's see. Let's go down the slide, buddy. Let's do it. You, know, you might be too excited to do this, but we'll give it a try. Let's try. All right. Okay. Go dear. ahead. Come to mommy. Ooh, so good. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. Use your little leggies. <laughs> Should I be nervous? No. I'm pretty nervous. This is where you get nervous right here because he doesn't <laughs> want to sit down. You have All right, buddy, it. go down the slide. Put there your you go. Leggies out. Oh, look at you, buddy. There you go. My big buddy. Now do the entire slide. Don't stop at the bottom. <laughs> Yay! Wee! Oh my goodness! You did it. You're my big boy! He's like, again! Okay, bye! Love you made you. a mess of the house, buddy. Yeah, you did. Okay, that's how we know we're having fun! Alright, so it is dinner time. Tonight we are making roasted pork tenderloin with miso, shiitake butter, and sesame kale. I have already started by getting my kale ready to go in the oven. So this has a tablespoon of water, a tablespoon of a neutral oil, I use vegetable oil, and some black and white sesame seeds. I just kind of mixed it all up in there, put it on my baking sheet, and then I've got some jasmine rice cooking. I cut up some shiitake mushrooms, and now I'm gonna get my pork ready. So first, we're going to sear that in a pan, and then we're gonna add that to our baking sheet with our kale. It sounds like it's gonna be really good, but the thing that I'm most excited for is the miso butter. I love miso. Delicious, it's good on everything. I think it's gonna be really delicious on this and uh, I can't wait. So 
that's what I'm doing. Tim and Jackson are upstairs playing while I'm getting dinner ready. Okay, so now that the pork has seared on the outside, it's not fully cooked. We're gonna add it to the oven with the kale for seven minutes. It's gonna go on like the top rack. I have it at 450 and then let that cook up. So now while that is happening, I'm gonna take my pan that I had my pork in and make my miso butter sauce. So now I'm gonna cook up my sliced mushrooms in the like the searing of the pork there. And then I'm gonna add in like my mirin, my sesame oil, things like that. But to be honest, I wish they sent us more mushrooms. Okay, so my pork is gonna sit and rest. I'm about to put my butter in my miso sauce. My kale is done. My rice is done. Dinner's almost done. The little baby buddy came downstairs. See, I'm so tired. Are you tired, bud? Yeah, he had a short nap today because oh, yeah. he like, woke up halfway through it and then he wouldn't go back to sleep. And then he said, I'm gonna pick my nose. Yeah, and so now he's, <laughs> he's like very, very tired for the day. No, oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Our dinner's almost done and then we can get ready for bed and go to bed yeah. and have a good night's sleep, huh? And you can go to sleep my zoodle, my flavor fit seafood. Jen doesn't know the words. <laughs> Go, Go to sleep, sleep my zoodle. It's the time to say a true. Who knows that song? Who knows that song, buddy? Look at how tired you look, buddy. What? What are you? What are you pointing at? Show me. You want your water? Is that what you were pointing at? You're pointing at the light. You want your water? No? Wait. Okay. It's always fun. It's like it's like charades. Are you pointing at just the lights, buddy? Yeah, those are the lights. The lights. A light. That's a fan. And that's a light. And these are lights in the ceiling in the kitchen. And these are this is our where we keep our recycling before we take it outside. You want both of them? Are you gonna help me take them out to the recycling bin? Yeah. Okay. Hold this one, and I'll hold this one. Thank you. Ooh, this looks fancy. I know the way that they plated it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna try to like do exactly what they did. I like how occasionally there's like a little hand that shows up and then he <laughs> so, bites your butt. So it's um, the kale and then the rice and then in the middle we put our pork and then we're gonna spoon over our shiitake miso butter. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. I was just telling them though, I wish there was more mushroom because I do love the mushroom. Ah, it looks real nice though. Yeah, I think this is gonna be awesome. And I think the miso, like the butter sauce is gonna be so good on the rice. Holy cow. Oh, there's so much sauce, I love it. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Look at Jackson. You know what else is really good, buddy? That's not for you. Um, miso, miso mixed in with mayonnaise on french fries. Oh yeah. Delish. Look at those french fries, delish. Okay, dinner's ready. All right, I just wanna show you this because I'm pretty proud. Check that out. I think it looks very similar. I agree. Is it identical? No. Is it similar? Similar enough for me. Honestly, it looks pretty darn good. Jackson, are you having some of daddy's? No. You got rice on your face, buddy. Ooh. He's also got rice on his pants. Look at that. So as an adult, you find yourself in these predicaments where you have to buy candy for Easter because it's Easter. Oh no, we told them we were not going to eat all the candy. And we told you that we were not going <laughs> to eat all the candy. Uh, I had to buy new candy today because we... Did you put it on the list? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because we ate too many candies. Uh -oh. The good news is we're close enough to Easter that the Easter candy was buy one, get one free. All right. So, in reality, we're saving money. <laughs> but I did say, hey, what are you doing? Are you stealing just... my candy already? Um... I have to justify our purchase of more candy. It's true. <laughs> I did say though what? that I wanted to stop eating as much candy after I got the vaccine. So I'm only halfway through the vaccine, <laughs> no. right? Is that how it works? So here's the thing. We prefaced our candy eating to each other um, that it, this was in celebration 
of the vaccine. Yeah. So that's it. Today's the only day we can celebrate. You gotta eat it all then. Okay. No. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That was, that was great. You go, okay. <laughs> Look. <laughs> yes. No. That's what has to happen. It's true. So now uh, we can watch a we can watch a television show or something. Oh. We started watching Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I don't like that there's the V in there. It's called the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Oh, is it? Yeah. Hmm. And I don't like that. I just want to be called Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We're not going to spoil anything. I already spoiled something and we cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really do like the show a lot, though. I, I liked like Wandavision better. I think that they're both good for different reasons so far. Like, yeah. we're only two episodes into this new one, but I like how real it is. Yeah, both of them are non-typical Marvel movies. We didn't yeah. ever watch Agents they're, of S.H.I.E.L.D. They're TV shows. Yeah, well, that's what I'm, I mean, like, they're not like the movies. Mm. And we didn't ever watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or uh, Agent Carter. Oh, yeah, we, we weren't. I wasn't really like a Marvel person then. But those aren't canon anymore, right? Because they both got canceled? I don't really know how any of that works. Right? I just, the thing that I like about the Falcon and Winter Soldier show, though, is that it's, like, they tackle real-world issues more in your face. Like, WandaVision did, too. But this one is so, like, in your face about it. They're like, yeah. here's the stuff that's happening, and here's how it's affecting the people in the show. Like, it's just, I just like it a lot. I think it's a really great show. And yeah, I it's like, good. I like the acting. I like that it's kind of like a, like a drama. Like a... Right. Yeah, like a regular TV show, but with superheroes. Yeah. When you said drama, I was like, ooh, what if it's like a Marvel soap opera? But it's not. It's definitely not. But what if it was? I feel like we never said how good dinner was. I was just thinking that. I was like, we, we said we were going to... Okay. What? It's okay. Yeah, it's just... It's the end of the night here. Can't, okay. can't help it. Um, but thank you for thinking about me. You're welcome. Um, dinner was really delicious. I was thinking about that too. I'm like, oh, we never actually talked about it. It was, it good. was really good. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Highly recommend putting miso like in your dinners. Wonderful. Yeah. Wasn't there butter too? Miso butter? Yeah, it's so oh. good. But miso, I think I already said this, but miso is also really good if you mix it with mayonnaise and dip it like french fries in it. I still don't know what miso is. I don't either. I don't need to know. I just know that it's delicious. Magic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, was a, it was a good day. I feel like we got a lot accomplished. Yeah. Uh, Jackson did a robot walk and it was cute. Yeah. Tim just folded all of Jackson's clothes. Which is very hard for me because I have gigantic hands. <laughs> and they're, he's still a little buddy, so his clothes are still very tiny. Yeah. But um, thank you for doing that. You're welcome. I got to work on the video for tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to get up early and do something super fun. So we're excited about that. Yeah. More just like around Orlando things. So look out Should for that. Should be fun. So all in all, a fantastic day. Mm -hmm. With that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price. We never actually watched a TV show. We watched The Simpsons. Oh yeah.